Hi, welcome to my channel, Senior Citizen Sue. Today I am going to be making a meat lover's meatloaf and it has three different meats in the meatloaf and it's really easy because there are no fillers, no bread, no oatmeal, no egg, no milk and uh, no vegetables or onions. And um, this is going to be kind of a more of a firm meatloaf, not your airy type of meatloaf where you mix things gently, gently so that you don't, uh, you know, compact the meat. This is going to be a little bit more dense, which actually makes for a really good uh, meatloaf sandwich. You don't have your hunks of meatloaf falling out of your, in between your bread. Okay, so anyway, before I get started on my meatloaf, what I'm going to be using to keep an eye on the temperature is this new um, meat probe that I received. I received this uh, to review. It's from Army Armiator. I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. It's A-R-M-E-A-T-O-R. Armiator. Uh, but anyway, let me quick show it to you. And then uh, we'll get started on, on the meatloaf, which is pretty easy. So it's a good thing I'm able to review this. Otherwise, I think my video would be like three minutes short. Okay, so here it is. And I've already opened it up and uh, there it's operated by batteries. Let me see what type, I can't remember. Two, it is two AAA batteries. So let me put that back on. And this is just the case for the thermometer, the meat thermometer. So it has a lock, a lock portion here, and then the unlock. Okay, so now I'm gonna open it up. And here is the meat probe that you, or thermometer that you will be sticking into your meatloaf. And it is uh, wireless and you connect it up to your phone. So if you're in the other room or outside, you know, close by, as long as you aren't far away, um, you'll get a notice or a beep that your meat is finished. So I'll show you that app in a minute. But here is the probe and that goes right in the oven and I believe it can go up to 500 degrees. It goes right in your meat into the oven and it stays in there the whole time and right now it's beeping. So when you're cooking your meat, uh, this needs to be near your, your oven. It's not beeping, I mean flashing. Okay, so um, I am going to show you the app and then we'll get at the meatloaf, so hold on. Okay, so here's my phone. This is an iPhone. And here's the app, it's our meter. And I'm going to open that up and then you'll see on here a start right there. Add device, and I already set this up and added the device, so I'm gonna hit start. And then you can see on here that it gives you what type of meat, uh, your beef, veal, lamb, pork, turkey, chicken, sausage, fish, and hamburger. And for the meatloaf, I'm going to be using the hamburger setting. And then you'll see here you can adjust the temperature. So I will put it at about 160. 161, that would work. And then I will go ahead and hit start cook. However, uh, I need to put the meatloaf together and then get the probe in. So I will be right back. You'll see me in a second. Okay, let's get this meatloaf put together. Uh, first off, I have my oven heating, uh, preheated up to 350 degrees, and I will not be using a loaf pan. I am going to be putting it on this uh, broiler pan here. I'm not broiling it, but this will just make it, it'll collect the grease in here. So that is that portion. Okay, now the first meat that you are going to be using is uh, ground turkey. You're going to have to mix this up with your hands. There's just no other way to do it. And I just finished washing my hands, so I'm good to go on that. And the other item is a pound of ground beef. This, this was a pound of ground turkey, and now I have a pound of ground beef. So let me get that in there. Okay. The next 
next item, and this is the special item, this is hot pork sausage. And because of the fact that this is a hot pork sausage, there are already spices in here, you will not be you will not need to add any other spices to this meatloaf, not even salt and pepper. So it's just going to be these meats all mixed up together. And this is where your hands are going to get a little bit dirty here, or covered with meat, I should say. And you want to mix it up real well. And this is what's going also going to make this meatloaf a little bit denser because you're really mixing it. If you want a lighter meatloaf, you just barely mix your ingredients, just, just so that everything is just combined. But for this, you need to mix it really well. Oh, and that is cold on my hands. So this would be a total of three pounds of meat. All right, I'm going to get it onto my loaf pan here. There we go. And I'm just going to shape it into a loaf. You want to make sure the thickness is uh, pretty much the same all around on your meatloaf. All right, that looks good to me. Okay, uh, let me rinse my, wash my hands and uh, we'll work on getting that meat probe in here and I'll show you, show you that, so hold on. Okay, I want to mention, now this uh, device has a wireless range up to 557 feet and from the probe to the dock, 295 feet unobstructed and from the dock to the phone, 262 feet. And it has two, excuse me, uh, over 72 hours of continuous cooking. And let me see, I think you can use this. Yes, the ceramic candle was, will withstand up to 500 degrees Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. But we are only going to be at 350 degrees. Okay, so... I'm going to get this meat probe or thermometer into the meat. And I'm just going to stick it here on the side. And I don't know if you can see this, but right here there's a line. So you want your meat buried all the way up to that. So I'm going to stick it in this way, right in the middle. Oop, sorry. I'm going to stick it right in the middle here. And I have it, let me see, up to the end. Okay, so now the other part. Let's get the app going. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my app. Oh, wait. Okay, so I'm going to open up the app. And okay, it's connecting. We are going to hit start. I'm going to hit hamburger. I'm going to put the temperature at about 160 degrees, 161, that'll work. And I'm going to hit start cook. And here it's telling you how to get your meat thermometer in there. Thickest part of the meat all the way up to that notch. Okay, I'm gonna hit continue. Uh, let me see here, place the dock one to 10 feet away from the cooking appliance. Okay, sounds good. And I'm gonna say, don't remind me again. Continue. Okay, so my meat right now is 42 degrees. I am going to get this in the oven and uh, we'll see in a bit. Okay, you can see the time here. It's been in the oven for 13 minutes, 21 seconds. And the temperature is currently at 64 degrees Fahrenheit. And my target is 161 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. And by the way, you can change the measurements so that they are in Celsius. Okay, I will be back later with some more progress. Here's one more thing. 
Uh, this is where you would change. This is in settings from uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. And if you want an alarm ringtone, if you want it to vibrate, and I have it set for both. And also a push notification where you would receive a notification on your phone. So I have all three here and uh, we'll see how that works once it is getting almost done. Now let's see what we're at. Okay, we are at 99 degrees. It has been cooking for 24 minutes. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, the meatloaf is finished and I did not put any ketchup or anything on top of it because I wanted to see what the flavor of that um, sausage in here was like. And just to let you know, I uh, double checked the temperature on the arm meter and it with my instant read thermometer and they were just like one degree off from each other. So that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me slice this and uh, we'll see what it tastes like. It is pretty dense. Now this will make a really nice meatloaf sandwich. Okay. So here's the meatloaf here. And let me give that a taste. Mmm, I like the smell of the sausage in there. It's fairly moist, which is good, but it's nice and firm. And um, I do like the flavor. I don't think any salt is needed. Um, if you want to have a little ketchup on it, I think that'd be great. But I think this turned out pretty good. Oh, let me show you how much grease came out of it. Hold on. Yeah, this has cooled down a bit. So this is how much grease you can see that came out oops there you go there I should tilt it that way that's how much grease came out okay so that is it for now on Tuesday I will not have I'm um, excuse me on Wednesday I will not have a cooking video but I do have an unboxing for you so check back with me on Wednesday thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye